Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, photographer and photography instructor. Hello, I'm Urs Reicher, photographer and consultant at Brown Color. Well, Carl, um, you're busy with a still life and you set up a whole bunch of lights and reflectors and diffusers. Yeah, there's a lot going on um, in this one. It's a little confusing. Can you give me a run through what you did step by step? Yeah, sure. Well, one of, one of the things I do uh, with a lot of my still lives is actually create a little set or a little environment just to add some atmosphere mm -hmm. to the picture. So what I've done here for this wine shot is just used a nice piece of walnut wood surface a couple of old rustic ropes hanging in the background, a piece of leather hanging as my background, and another piece of rope on the table, just to set the scene, to give the right tones and warmth okay, and colors yeah. to the shot. But you're right, there are a lot of lights in this picture. Um, if we start at the back, I'll take yep. you through um, what we've got set up. I've got this P70 reflector with a medium honeycomb grid which is casting this glow of light that you can see here, okay. just grazing up there, just to put a glow of light behind my uh, bottle of wine. Additionally, with a orange filter? Warm yeah, filter. Just, just got a little bit of gel on it, just a slight warm up gel, slight orange tint, just okay. to, again, just to create that mood and atmosphere. And you'll see I've got the same on this one. I've got a little Pico light with a Fresnel um, adapter on the front with the yellow and that's just to add a little bit of light onto these ropes with a little bit of warm color these ropes will be very much out of focus because I'm going for a very shallow depth of field okay, shot yeah. here f3.2 yeah, right. uh, and then my third background light just got a projection attachment adding a little bit more light on the rope here this could have been a Fresnel could have All been right. another okay. uh, yeah. a, a honeycomb but I just happened to have one of those to hand so uh, yeah those two Pico lights and this P70 that's the background illumination. If we move around to the main light, which is this big softbox, we've got the 120 by 180 softbox, which is the main light on the bottle and the main light on the label. And then I've yep. just put a little block of wood here just to reflect some of that light off that white surface back onto the shadow side of the label. Oh, okay, and it's that very small that it only hits the label but not creates more highlights in the glass. Exactly, Is because it right? if it was a big tall reflector, then yeah. I'd have another stripe of light down the bottle. So this just restricts it I see. to the label area. Uh, then over the top, another P70 with a very tight honeycomb grid, and that's creating just a little pool of light in this area so that I get a nice vignette running out here again to keep that atmosphere okay. and yeah. add that atmosphere to the shot yeah. and then finally over here finally over here i've got a cirrus light again that's the great thing with the bronze color is that it's all compatible with each other so i can mix and match i've got pico lights yeah. cirrus uh, scoros uni lights yeah. doesn't really matter but you can see here i've just put a red gel on this light shining it through some diffusion material and this is just to add a little line of red light down the side of the bottle because what i find with um red wine is you never see the red That's because right. it's the, really black they and look opaque. black yeah. Yeah. yeah so this just hints that redness into the bottle and into the glass and the glass of wine as well okay good so i think what we'll do is i'll, I'll start taking the picture from the back first from the background and then we'll build it up one shot at a yes, time. Yes, so we see light by light what happens, huh? Yeah. So I switch off. Yeah, let's switch bit. off everything except for the P70 that's grazing the background. And we take that first shot. So this should just be the background. It's only the background, yeah. yeah. So we can see there, nothing else visible, only that um, background glow. So now I'll add on one of the uh, Pico lights, which is the light that's illuminating the rope from the right hand side. The, the Fresnel. Okay. There we go. So that's just a little bit of catch light on that rope. Next, I'm going to add the Cirrus in, which will give the red glow down the side of the bottle. So there we go. Oh, that's yeah. nice little red catch light down the edge of the bottle. We'll now put on the soft box. Okay, now here's something I don't like with bottle shots with um, a softbox. 
and they can work really nicely if you want a hard edged line you see this very defined edge line here which yes. we get from the big softbox but i prefer it if we can soften that a little bit so what i do is i use a uh, scrim piece of trace and right. um, i'll bring this in front of the softbox so I pull this back a little bit yeah we'll pull that right. back a little bit and we'll need to turn the softbox up a little bit in power yep um, to compensate for the reduction in power from this half a stop about yeah half a stop should be spot on right so now with the diffusion material oh, there yeah. we go we've got a lovely softening it just takes that hard edge yes, exactly. off of that soft box i wanted to create this sort of vignette of light effect here so i need to create a pool of light so what i've done is just with the p70 with the very tight honeycomb grid is put that from above the bottle to add a pool of light which should finally finish the yep. picture off and there we go so just a subtle little extra detail yep. on there if we flick between the two we see without and with and you can see how much atmosphere yep. that adds to the shot also adds a nice little catch light to the top of the bottle yeah. there. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that, um, which you know managed to put together in a relatively short space Absolutely. of time. Absolutely, yeah. great, fantastic. So to stay up to date with all of that and more from Broncolor, follow them on their website or on their Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much and bye-bye.